Ciao guys, welcome back to my channel. Google just released the new advanced data analytics certification and you might ask yourself, so what? Well, if you're learning or upskilling in the data analytics and data science space, I'm sure you've come across this course here, which is the Google Data Analytics Certification. The was released in March 2021, and since then, it has become the most popular professional certificate on Coursera globally, and arguably also the most popular certification in the data space overall. And so with the release of the new Google Advanced Data Analytics Certification, the hype is high also because it is a brand new certificate. And so, you know, you could take advantage of it being one of the first ones to complete it. So in this video, I will be discussing the different modules in the course, their content, the time and money required, and whether it's worth investing in this certificate or not. Cause yeah, there are both pros and cons of taking this course, but more of that later. And by the way, if you're new here, I'm Lore, I'm a data analyst working at Amazon, and I am on a mission to make you succeed in the data analytics space. And this is why I want to cover this incredible course that Google just released. So enough for the intro, let's get into it. Okay, so the Google Advanced Data Analytics Certification is a brand new certificate program that can be completed entirely online by going into the Coursera website. And by the way, you can find the link in the video description. And so this gives you the flexibility to learn at your own pace and adjust your schedule according to your needs. The certificate program is entirely in English, but I believe more languages and subtitles will be added soon. The certificate program includes seven courses that build on each other. The first course is the foundation of data science, which provides a basic understanding of data analysis and what data professionals do. I personally feel that it may not offer as much value as the subsequent modules, but for those who are new to data analysis, this module may still be a valuable starting point to establish a solid understanding of the basics before moving on to more complex concepts. The second course is Get Started with Python, where you will learn the basics of Python, including data types, for loops, functions, and other fundamentals. The third course is Go Beyond the Numbers, Translate Data into Insights where you will learn about exploratory data analysis with Python, which I think is super useful, how to handle missing and bad data formatting, and also data visualization in Tableau Public, which you can access for free. The fourth course is the power of statistics, where you will learn more advanced statistical concepts, such as probability, sampling, confidence intervals, and much more. This is probably my favorite module just because there is a lot of very practical stuff here that not many courses have, but you will find on the job. For example, the A-B testing methods with Python. The fifth course is regression analysis, simplify complex data relationships, where you will learn about linear and multiple linear regression and other advanced hypothesis testing methods like the ANOVA test. And again, all of this is taught in Python. The sixth course is the nuts and bolts of machine learning, where you will learn the basics of machine learning, including what it is, the ethics of machine learning, and how to do it in Python. Now, I'm not a big fan of this course because I feel like this should be more like a bonus content in case you are interested, because as a data analyst, you will probably do zero machine learning unless the company has messed up their own names and responsibilities. But with that said, I'm planning to take this myself just to explore more about the topic. And then the final course is the Google Advanced Data Analytics Capstone, where you will put everything you learn together to work on a big end-to-end -end project that provides data-driven suggestions for a business problem. Now, a few more important information about this course. So the program is designed for people who are already in the industry. However, in my perspective, a beginner would not have any problem completing the course, since, for example, the Python course covers the basics before jumping into more complex topics. The course description also mentions that it will take around six months to complete the course, but obviously it depends on your pace and how much time you dedicate each day. If we look at the price, Coursera is a subscription model with a seven-day free trial. Unfortunately, I can say with huge confidence that the seven-day free trial is not enough to cover the whole course. And after the free trial, the Coursera subscription will cost 39 US dollars per month. But if you are really committed to it, have enough time to dedicate to the course daily and willing to save money, I'm confident you can finish the course in one month so that you don't need to pay for the second one. Overall, the faster you go, the more you save. Now let's jump into my considerations and see if this course is worth it or not. So one of the aspects I appreciate about this certification is how practical it is. The courses are designed to provide hands-on experience 
through projects and real world examples, assuring that you can apply the skills you've learned directly to the actual work scenarios to excel as a data analyst. And don't forget that at the end, you will have one big project to add to your portfolio. Another advantage of this program is that it focuses a lot on Python, which is more useful for landing jobs in the current data analyst market. This is different from the previous Google Data Analytics certificate, which I don't know why, focus more on R. Overall, Python's versatility and wide adoption across industries make it an ideal language for new data analysts increasing the value of this certificate for your future career. However, there are a few concerns that you may want to consider depending on your position. So first of all, if you are a beginner, I would still recommend starting off with the other Google Data Analytics certificate, or actually my absolute favorite, the IBM Data Analyst certificate. Also, this certificate does not teach you SQL, which is an essential skill in data analysis for dealing with databases and is often required when looking for data jobs. In my opinion, an advanced SQL module would have been much better than the machine learning one, but hey, maybe that's just me. Overall, I would say if you are a complete beginner, go with something else, but if you're already taking a few courses here and there and know the basics, then go for this one. Completing it will help you to stand out in the job market and showcase your commitment to staying updated with the latest in data analytics space. Not many people know that there are over 150 companies that will look for and hire people with this exact certificate. And well, this is it for today's video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I will also leave here in the screen a video that I made on my favorite data courses and also a video that the YouTube algorithms thinks would be good for you. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Um, you know that this massively helps. And well, enjoy the rest of your day. Ciao for now and see you in the next one.